All right, praise the Lord. Pastor Steve Sterling from the Dallas Revival Center. We just had a beautiful service on Sunday, uh, last Sunday of the year, 2021. And so excellent, excellent service. Uh, broke out in celebration, the Jericho March, and a lot of other things. Uh, just a wonderful time had by all there with the Lord's sanctions and blessings resting on us on that beautiful Sunday with a beautiful day outside and inside. And so we're just thanking God. We're, we're riding the crest and riding tremendous momentum. Uh, we've had tremendous uh, miracles happening uh, with us here at the center and uh, in every facet and phase of operation. It's just a celebratory time. We're, we're in the rest of uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. We're, we're flowing in the uh, extreme unction and function of the spirit of almighty God and uh, things are transacting beautifully, uh, healings and deliverances and blessings, uh, all of them coming at a wonderful end of the year, uh, just a extravaganza, you might say, which is totally, you know, when you get those kinds of things going on at all levels, you know that you're doing something right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So anyway, I want to pick up and talk about uh, the new year coming up, 2022, 2022. And um, there's three twos there, by the way. And, of course, we know that twos are just wonderful numbers, especially when they're clustered together in threes. Yes. Of course, I love that scripture in Matthew, <clears throat> excuse me, in the King James Version, Matthew 18, 19. Again, I say unto you that if two, there's the two, if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything. Wow. Are you kidding? Anything? That's what he says right here. Anything. All you have to do is touch with your agreement. Anything that they shall ask. I mean, that is so potent, powerful, and prolific right there. I mean, you can stop this whole message and just concentrate on that. As touching anything they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. It shall be done. It shall be done. It shall be done. We're going to move into 2022 with those wonderful twos, triple twos going on. You know, threefold cord is not easily broken. The Word of God is never broken. Hallelujah. And so we just thank God um, that his commanding vote of voice is here, uh, backing up what he says. And he talks about the power of the Father. Shall be done of them of my Father, which is in heaven. So uh, the Father, who his location is heaven, is going to enter Veen and and step into the matrix of the earth for people that are in agreement as touching a thing, whatever it is they're going to ask, and he is going to do what they ask. The Father is going to do it. The Father which is in heaven. It shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Look at that potent, powerful, and prolific verse as we rehearse the goodness of God here in this final wrap up of 2021. Wow. Of course, the number two is just so amazing when you do think about it. Um, the number two conveys the meaning of a union. Uh, it's a division or a verification of facts by two witnesses. And so two witnesses or two witnessing to the veracity and the truth of the word, you know, will bring the father down on the scene. Thank you, Jesus. Of course, I could get into a dissertation about twos, you know, the fact that there's an old covenant and then there's a new covenant. The fact that there was the father working and the son was working at the same time. See what I mean? Uh, in agreement. Look what happened when the son got in agreement with the father. Woo! Lights out here on earth, or let's just say uh, hope springing forth in the miraculous signs and wonders. 
glory to God, plundering the enemy. And, you know, there was the, you know, the, the first Adam who sinned and brought death and destruction into the world. And Jesus was the second or the, uh, the last Adam that brought hope, uh, hope in the form of a resurrection and eternal life. If you read 1 Corinthians 15, 21 to 22, uh, 45 and verse 49 as well. So you know, it just swells up to uh, an amazing, wonderful uh, commission of things, launching of things, uh, priority of things, and benefits of things. And of course, we know that um, Jesus himself uh, sent his disciples out two by two. So there's power in the number two that one cannot apprehend or cannot go there. But two, there it is. Of course, in this end times, God's going to raise up two witnesses that are going to fight the beast and the uh, false prophet. If you look at Revelation 11, hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? So I believe that... Uh, this power of, of the triplets of, of to rolling out. We're going to see God fighting against the Antichrist beast and false prophet. Hallelujah. And really doing some real damage. And of course, we know that the shortest verse in the Bible uh, in about, you know, in the New Testament about Jesus is Jesus wept. Jesus wept. And after that, there was a resurrection of Lazarus. So, wow, compassion. Uh, of the Lord on a, a real high graded level. I mean, compassion that reached into the grave and pulled out the dead. Woo, glory to God. What does that speak for you in your life right now? Of course, we also know that the power of two is there. When you talk about uh, in Genesis 1 16, it talks about the uh, great greater light and the lesser light. A greater light to rule by day and a lesser one to rule by night in Genesis 1 16. So you have the sun and the moon right there bearing witness to God's uh, 24 hour spectrum. Wow. And when I, and when I say that God's going to do some major damage to the world of the, of Satan himself, um, he's called in, 2 Thessalonians 2, 3, the man of sin and the son of perdition also uh, describes uh, sin as being the mystery of iniquity or lawlessness. So there you go. God's going to do some major damage to lawlessness. Uh, the wicked one, the son of perdition, the, uh, the man of sin, they're going to take some major hits and 2022. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Of course, them appearing to Jesus, you know, was um, Moses and Elijah, you know, in the Mount of Transfiguration. So we have the law and the prophets, law and the prophets in the number two. So watch out for the prophetic and the fulfillment of the word of God in Christ. You know, the spirit of Christ is the spirit of prophecy, we're told in Revelation chapter 19. So watch out for divine fulfillment, I mean, of everything good, of everything that God has tailor-made, tailor-fit, and has uh, transacted for you personally in a very uh, wonderful way, uh, in a very amazing, phenomenal way. Uh, Outworking. It's going to be extraordinary if you're right on those twos. Triple two. So let me get down to uh, the base of this thing. Uh, I looked up some scriptures. I saw. I found two of them that represent 2022 or 2022. And these are delightful scriptures. The first burst or the first of the, first of the ones bringing about these wonderful 
door opening changes in 2022, Exodus 2022, then the Lord said to Moses, tell the Israelites this, you have seen for yourselves that I have spoken to you from heaven. You have seen to yourself, you have seen for yourselves that I have spoken unto you from heaven. I'm calling to open heaven here for you and for I and for those that are connected to DRC Dallas Revival Center and around the globe, all of those that are serving God and loving God and, and uh, living for God, I'm calling the same thing upon them. Exodus 20, 22, you have seen for yourselves. I want everybody to have an unfolding and a revealing uh, of God from heaven. You have seen for yourselves that I have spoken to you from heaven. God speaking to you from heaven. I mean, we have heaven to go to heaven with. God's commanding vote of voice. Going back to, again, Matthew 18, 19. If two of you shall agree on earth is touching. And we and the involvement of the heavenly father. That's involved in our personal lives. Here in 2022. And then there's going to be such an ecstatic turnover of um, you know, uh, joy and happiness and gladness, uh, wiping away all sadness and uh, the, the morose and all of the n negativity and all of the uh, possible uh, situations because God's got direct line to us. Hallelujah. The Father loves his children. It's his pleasure to give us the kingdom. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Singing the songs of joy, love, happiness, peace, the whole thing. Hallelujah. Being rolled out on a red carpet. Listen, the second uh, scripture is uh, Second Chronicles 8, 20, 22. As they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushments against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir who were invading Judah, and they were defeated. So the invaders are going to be dealt with while we are singing and praising the Lord. Ambushments are being executed against all those that are men that rise up against Judah. You know, you know the ones Judah represents praise. So praisers, you're going to have tremendous changes in 2002 to uh, God is going to set ambushments against all these malefactors and all these evil uh, lords and masters and rulers and he's going to bring them to feet set them at your feet glory to God hallelujah thank you Jesus I love that you know there's a there's a scripture Jeremiah 8.22, and I love so much. There's 2.2 two there, 2022. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is there no healing for the wound of my people? So God's speaking about the balm of Gilead here. I believe that lots of people are going to be healed and delivered uh, in greater measures than we've ever seen before. There's going to be a fusion of the Holy Ghost and dynamic power of, of God uh, through his son, Jesus Christ, that are going to be just their wounds in every area where they need healing. They're going to receive it because that's just the way it rolls in 2022. You see, God, when God Almighty is involved, he can change any situation. He can change any situation. And we're going to flow in such revelation in 222, you know, 2022, that <clears throat> uh, the prophetic is going to be an operation. You know, uh, the law of the Moses is going to be quick and the revelation is going to flame forward and, and going to activate. And uh, revelation, the revelation realm is going to take pres precedence and predominance over the natural reasoning that has muted and has uh, blocked uh, faith from rising up to the highest possible crest in your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I believe that like Dr. Leroy Thompson says that the total man is going to be re going to be released in God's fulfilling plan. The total man is going to be released in God's uh, wonderful plan of redemption and salvation here in these end times. 
Thank you, Jesus. I believe it. I'm looking forward to it. All right, let me just throw out some singular twos to you. I think this uh, relates as we relevate here uh, about some things. Uh, just just <clears throat> some single twos in Second Corinthians. There it is. 2 Corinthians 4, 6. For God who commanded his light to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. So Jesus opened the door for the knowledge of the glory of God, to, to see God and his glory, uh, and so that we can have our hearts changed, uh, move, shift from darkness to light. And so there it is, uh, again, Jesus making a way for God the Father to illuminate and delineate and operate fully in our lives. Another two is 2 Corinthians 3.13. But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as a spirit, even by the Spirit of the Lord. So, uh, not as Moses who had to veil his face when he came down from the mountain because the glory ebbed. There will be no ebbing of the glory. It will be uh, fullness in, first, in John uh, one sixteen of his fullness have we all received from glory to glory, one glory event after another glory event. So um, we are going to be beholding as in a mirror, that word glass means mirror, the mirror, the glory of the Lord. It's just going to be vaulting and cascading and maneuvering and, and escalating and just uh, in its multitudinous, uh, you know, infinity of itself and its uh, fullness of itself, extreme uh, uh, magnitude of itself coming into our lives will be changed, changed into the image from the glory from one glory to another glory will be changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. So that's what's happening. The Holy Ghost on the way, revealing Jesus Christ, that he's the, he's, he is the way, the truth and the life, and then Jesus Christ as the great door opening up, uh, the, the very uh, image of and glory of God the Father, and that that glory is changing us into that very image, into God's very image, God the Father's very image. Ephesians 4.23, it talks about being renewed in the spirit of our minds. You know, there's a two in there, 4.23, and being renewed in the spirit of our mind. That's what's going to happen. We're going to be transfixed, renewed, restored, reclamated, resuscitated hallelujah in many beneficial ways thank you jesus um you know like this you talk about renewal you talk about the spirit of god transforming and helping us to be transformed and and the glory of god as we behold it in a mirror and how it affects us you know in colossians 3 10 which there's no twos there but it, it's an explanation in the amplified bible and have put on the new uh, spiritual self, and have put on the new spiritual self, who is being continually renewed. Look at that. I love that. Continually being renewed. This is, I really believe, this is amping up, revving up, and this is really uh, turning, uh, I mean, it's turning things in revolutions and in operations and in, in, in completed fashion like we've never seen before. Uh, vaulting us up to higher heights and, and putting us, launching us into deeper depths, put on the new spiritual self who being continually renewed in true knowledge in the image of him who created the new self. There it is. The image of him who created the new self. So we, we are uh, spiritually going to be very active in 2022, uh, continual renewal is coming, restoration, uh, again, resuscitation, uh, being realigned and reassigned and redone to where that we're going to have such knowledge of God 
that created our born-again spirit, that we're going to begin to have a born-again lifestyle. Our born-again spirit is going to begin to operate in a full-scale born-again lifestyle as it is in heaven. So let it be in earth for all that it's worth. There is no dearth. God brings birth to bring birth everything that is wonderful. And of course, that goes right along with Matthew 9, 17. Neither do men pour new wine into old wine skins. And if they do, the skins will burst uh, and the wine will spill. And the wine uh, skins will be ruined. Instead, they pour new wine into new wine skins and become uh, and both are being preserved, and they pour new wine into new wine skins, and both are preserved. So the new wine skin uh, animation, the, the new with which we have to do, that new wine of revelation, a new wine of God uh, orientation, will be so uh, infusing us that uh, it will confuse the devil and lock him out and knock him out, uh, and because we have such pristine power and uh, life. Uh, manifestation, the devil has never even bargained for this. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We, we give God the praise, don't we? Just worship God. This is just amazing. I'm excited about 2022. So now let's just take a few minutes <clears throat> and talk about some scriptures that have to do and deal with the new. That's right, new. Everything brand new. Coming into this year full of cheer, sincere, knocking the devil back to the beer. I mean, basically burying him, you know, in Isaiah 43, 19, in the New Living Translation, for I'm about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness and I will create rivers in dry wastelands. So we're talking about wilderness and Wastelands being totally renovated as God makes new overtures, new pathways, and works in his creative powers to change uh, our scenarios into the wonderfulness of his intention. Thank you. Gee, and God's going to wipe our slate clean, I believe it, Second Corinthians 5, 19 and 21. There's a two again. Uh, to wit, that God in Christ reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. So I believe that reconciliation is going to, uh, word of reconciliation is going to vault into supremacy in 2022. Um, that Christ is reconciling everything that we have to do within the world. We're not... Uh, we're in the world, but not of the world. But God is uh, uh, knocking off the jagged edges. He's going to smooth things out. He's going to uh, raise up the valleys and, and lower the mountains and give us a, a path to walk upon, not imputing the trespasses unto them. You see, um, trespasses are being uh, eradicated and forgiven here. As the word of reconciliation comes, people are going to have a good conscience toward God. They're going to feel the presence of God, the anointing of God like they've never known before uh, for quite a while, ever since they received Jesus Christ. Their first love is going to come back. You know, Romans 6, 4, it says, We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may walk in the newness of life. So the newness of life is going to come like we've never seen it before, faultless, uh, wonderful, uh, perfect, uh, you know, uh, just an amazing uh, fusion of just the way God is working in heaven is going to be working on the earth. The glory of the Father is going to be responsible for bringing us into the newness of life. See, the newness of life, the glory of the Father. We've already talked about that, about Matthew 18, 19. You know, uh, if two of us would agree, then uh, it says that things, whatever we, whatever we ask, will be done by our Father, which is in heaven. See, the glory of the Father is being opened up here and animated in 2022 the father's revealing himself revealing his heart revealing his mind revealing his will revealing his intention you know that 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 secret uh place that hidden place that place that 
where God the Father works behind the scenes. He's now going to come to the forefront, and his glory is going to come to the forefront and begin to so imbib and so uh, uh, intoxicate and so satisfy his people that there's going to be terminal rejoicing. There's going to be rejoicing, and the devil is just not going to be able to stand it, and he's not going to be able to step up to it, that level of praise and worship and glory. Because the father's stepping in. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, the father spoke to him and said, all that I have is yours. All that I have is yours. That's Luke 15, 31. Luke 15, 31. So what, what's happening here? We talk about the word of reconciliation. We talk about, you know, God forgiving our uh, sins and equities, transgressions, trespass, wiping all our slates clean starting in the new year ezekiel 36 26 i will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you new heart there it is new 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 brand new and give you a new heart put a new spirit within you i will remove your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh more dexterity more yieldedness and more comprehension of who God is and what he wants to do. Uh, Psalm 51, 10, create, created me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. So clean heart, right spirit, heart of uh, flesh, uh, a new heart, again, a new spirit. In the Amplified Bible, it says, with a heart, a person believes, talking about Romans 10, 9 and 10. Uh, for with the heart, a person believes in Christ as Savior, resulting in his justification that is being made righteous, being freed from the guilt of sin and made acceptable to God, being freed from the guilt of sin and made, be, and made acceptable to God. And with a mouth, he acknowledges and confesses his faith openly, resulting in uh, confirming his salvation. So they're going to be just an open confession of God before man. Uh, it's going to be just delicious, isn't it? Uh, people are going to get out of sin consciousness and get into God consciousness and new and variegated levels. And, of course, he says in Isaiah 65, 17, For behold, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. God is giving us spiritual amnesia. We're not going to remember our faults. We're not going to remember uh, any of the things that didn't address new and completeness, wholeness, soundness, and oneness with God. Former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. Not even going to come to our mind. I like this Isaiah 43, 19. Behold, I'm about to do something new even now, even now, even now, even now, now, now. We declare, declare now, now faith is. Hallelujah. And then, uh, you know, Isaiah 43, again, it tells us to forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Do not dwell on the mistakes of the past, the shortcomings of the past, the illegitimacy of the past. Don't, don't, don't dwell on those things. Forget them. Forget all that. God is the dispenser of the new. There it begins with another two in Second Corinthians five seventeen. Therefore, if anyone in Christ, anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. He has come to the forefront. The old has gone. The new is here. The new is here. Second Corinthians. The new is here. Second Corinthians five seventeen. There you go. Well, those are some scriptures on new. Uh, with which, which we have to do. God bless you. This is only a 30 minute uh, audio. I hope this kind of kick starts 2022 in every wonderful way this very day. Bye bye for now. God bless and God's best.
My God. Doesn't that do something for you? Psalm 101, uh, 16, verse 9 to 11. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh also shall rest in hope. 